Hey, what's up? Look at that. <laughs> it's it is quite cold, the get up. and we're waiting for our pizza. It's cold. It's eight degrees Fahrenheit currently, and the dining room is closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's six degrees. Six. I don't want the door to open if I walk too close to the open. But yeah, six degrees out there. I got my hat on and my boots and my and my gloves. Nate, you should come here and deliver pizzas for them. We came back with our pizza, we ate that, we hung out a little bit, Megan was sleeping, she's tired, she went home, uh, Ken and I watched some office, and so now it's very late, uh, not, not very late, but it's late, it's 12.52, and it's extremely cold again, we're looking at about uh, 5 degrees, feels like negative 4, and Ken and I just figured that we have another 7 days before the daily highs or lows reach 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I don't know, convert that to Celsius, 32 is zero. So like negative five, negative 10, something like that. It's really, really unpleasant. And like we said at the end of the Christmas vlog, people that haven't been in it before um, think it looks pretty and from a distance, yeah, well, it, it does look pretty. But what you don't realize is now when you go out to your car, um, when you get below 10 degrees outside and the air touches your fingertips, your ears, your nose, toes, if those are exposed at all, even through socks. It feels like millions of little needles, red hot needles, just puncturing the skin. It is a really, really sharp, constant pain. And it only gets worse for every, every 10 seconds you stand out there, it is worse. And you inhale that freezing cold air and you feel your entire chest contract. It is painful. I mean, it's, it's literally painful. Your body goes into pain and eventually shock from those temperatures. People bitch about the heat, 110 degrees out in Phoenix in the summer or something. No problem. Kenan said it today. You give me a gallon of water, you can survive a long time at 110 degrees. You go outside in this, just how I'm dressed right now. I'm even wearing slippers. Slippers, long pants and a shirt. And then an hour, I'd probably lose my life outside with as much water as I wanted. So... Dicked. Get me out of here. Anyways, 1 a.m. I'm gonna try to remain semi-positive. My night, my bed is nice and warm. I'm gonna go upstairs and do some mail and catch up on some YouTube and the usual shit and go to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna see Joe. We'll hang out with Joe a little bit. And uh, that's about all I know for Thursday. So we'll talk now. Good night.